our fans have gone absolutely mental all over the country. They're pretty much obsessed with you guys. How does that feel? Thank you. Um, it's incredible. You know, it's, it's, it's incredibly flattering to know that you know, there's people in Australia where we, we haven't been yet kind of who are supporting us. And, you know, we see them all over the place. We see them on Twitter and stuff. And they're really amazing. They get, you know, they get so much kind of, you know, trending and stuff like that. That they're really the support's great. It's um, it's really overwhelming. It's very humbling to know that, you know, people like that are supporting you. So thank you very much. No worries. Now, yesterday when we said that we were going to talk to you, Hot Hits Ask One Direction was number one trending. And now that the interview's happening, it looks like they're about to get. Um, I think it's bring. <laughs> Uh, I one D down under is about to trend. So, yeah. can we get some news? Is there any chance that uh, One Direction are going to come down under? <laughs> I think we will definitely be coming down under. I would have thought we will, um, and soon, hopefully, we're uh, you know somewhere that we've all we've all always wanted to go, and you know this this whole thing has given us the chance, and hopefully, you know, we'll be there soon and. We'll kind of come and say hi to everyone. Most English people come to Australia and hit our beaches in speedos and get really sunburned. So if you come, are we going to see you on the beach in speedos? I might break out a pair of speedos or two. Um, beaches are great, I think. I would think over there. You definitely you know, I might, are. I might try and surf. I might try and surf. Well, I'm sure if you came I over and needed a surf lesson, there'd be tens of thousands of girls yeah. that would happily give you a That'd lesson in their cutest bikini. Oh, great. Yes. Now, how does it feel to know that it's someone, you're still pretty young, that you're pretty much never going to have to struggle to get a date ever again? <laughs> um, that, that's a bit of a funny question. Um, I don't know, really. It's, um, you know, I think, I think you could still struggle. I think you could definitely still struggle, I'd say. What do you think are your best um, are your best features that would maybe all the girls are probably do like? What's the one thing you put feature. forward that you go, Yeah, it's all right, I've got blank, so I'm sweet. Um I don't know really. I like my hair. You got good hair, I'll pay yeah, that. Yeah. Actually a couple Thank of, you very much. No worries, you got curly hair like me and curls get the girls, but not that I want the yeah, girls, yeah, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> A couple of the um, fans have been asking if you'd ever straighten your hair. Is that something that you'd ever do? Um, I don't think that's really... I don't think it'd really suit me. I've done it a couple of times as a joke. I did it in school once as a joke and it did not... Um, didn't look great, I'll be honest. I'm sure it looked lovely, don't stress. Now, tell yeah. us about your upcoming album, Up All Night. You must be pretty stoked. Yeah. Um, you know, we worked really hard on the album, really proud of it. Um, you know, something that we've had quite a lot of input on and, you know, we, we can't wait to get it out because, like I said, we're really proud of it and just worked really hard on it. So can't wait for people to listen to it and hopefully everyone will enjoy it. Awesome. Now, you've had some pretty crazy success and it's kind of blown up. What's been a highlight for you, like the craziest thing that's happened or the one moment when you've just gone, is this even happening? Um... I think one of the craziest times was um, we went to Italy and we thought, you know, we hadn't been to Italy yet, so we didn't think there could be that much support, really. So we thought, we were doing a sign-in, basically, and we thought there'd be 200, 300 people there tops. And then um, when we were on the way to the venue, we got told there were 3,500 people there. So for us, that was like a massive kind of. It was just, it was just amazing for us because we were not expecting that at all, and we were just you know, taken aback by the amount of people who were kind of lying in the streets. It was really breathtaking to see. What's one of the craziest things that a fans ever done to get your attention? Um, well, we were on our radio tour. And we were in Liverpool, and um, someone stuck a sanitary towel to our car window. How is that going to end well? What are they thinking? Well, in all fairness to her, we're still talking about it today, so it did get our attention. Wow. Good effort. You know? What's the craziest thing you've ever done to impress a girl? Have you done anything crazy? Craziest thing I've ever done. I don't think I've done anything too crazy. 
maybe maybe like stood up in a room full of people. Lovely. Now speaking of ladies, yeah. all the way over in Australia, yeah. rumors spread pretty fast. And even though we're like twenty hours away, we still heard that you recently may or may not have snogged a considerably older lady, a hot lady, don't get oh me wrong. God. Please, Caroline Flack, did it happen? Did it not? I just saw footage of her. She is a total believe hottie. I'm getting asked this by an interview in Australia. It's unbelievable. We'll clear it up, Harry. Um, I will clear it up. She's she's a lovely lady. She's um you know, we're good friends and um you know, she's lovely. You didn't clear up anything at all, mate. Well, I'm sorry. A gentleman doesn't kiss and uh, doesn't tell anything. So you're a gentleman. Yeah. Well, I like uh, that. I, I think so. Well, apart from her, who is a celebrity crush for you that you look at and go, yes, please? Do you know? Hmm, I don't know. That's okay. Emma Watson. Yeah, she's a hottie. I'll pay that. Good choice. Yeah. Now, what is the deal with One Direction and carrots? The fans keep talking about carrots, and I don't know what's going on. Can yeah, you... well, Louis, Louis basically said a long time ago that he likes girls who ate carrots. And ever since, we've been pelted with carrots every time we get on stage. You must be sick of carrots, every time then. We're on stage, with carrots flying everywhere. You should say you things know, like... Whenever we go places. You should say things yeah, like, we, we really them. like girls with money or thick gold. And then they'll throw money and gold at yeah, you. Yeah, well, he tried He tried Lamborghinis and Rolex watches once, and that didn't really happen. I don't think so. many teenage fans can afford either of those things. They seem, they seem to have stuck with the carrots thing. Like Thank I you. said yesterday, the number one trending topic was Hot Hits Asks One Direction. So needless to say, we got about 400 billion questions sent in from girls, and most of them just said, will Harry marry me? So we've taken those ones out. I love questions. <laughs> okay. Um, so, can I ask you a couple? Sure. Lovely. Okay, first, Alison wants to know, Hi. Harry, if you had to choose only one ma- band member to save from a dinosaur, who would it be? Well, I live with Louie, and I wouldn't have a housemate if I didn't save Louie, so I think I have to save Louie. Very diplomatic of you. Nick wants to know... And which the other boys could probably take care of themselves anyway. Yeah, that's thoughtful. Nick wants to know, which of the boys is the worst at chatting up girls? Um, oh, that's a very good question. Uh, between Niall and Liam. Why is that? They're just awkward? Yeah, uh, not really awkward as much. Just, I don't know. Just Liam not as suave Liam as you. Doesn't try that often. Liam doesn't try that often. Fair enough. Do you know what no. they're missing? They haven't got the curls. That's what it is. Well... Maybe if you gave him a a cheeky perm or something, they'd have some more luck. What can you do? What can you do, exactly. Lauren wants to know, is there anything that you've done in your life that you regret? Is there anything I've done in my life that I regret? Correct. Yeah, I'd I'd have to say no at this point because, yeah, I think, you know, everything you kind of do leads to something else. And if I think about it that way, then if I hadn't done all the things that I've done in my life, then I wouldn't be here right now. So, you know, it's um, no, I'm, pr- I'm pretty happy right now. Cool. And Julia wants to know, if someone, if a fan did want to get your attention on Twitter, did want to yeah. get a retweet or a mention or whatever they're called, what would they have to do? Is there anything they could do? Do you know what? I don't really know. I'd literally, the ones that really catch my eye are just things that make me laugh. And, like, things that I find funny. They're the ones that mainly catch my eye. So does that mean that the one thing that you probably look for in a girl is sense of humour? Yeah, definitely. It's a massive part of what I would look for in a girl, I think. Fantastic. And here's a fun question for you. Have you ever been on a really bad date? And if so, what did that look like? Yeah, once. Oh, please tell us. Um... It was just really bad. It was really awkward. She was like, she was too shy. Like sometimes shy people, like if a girl's shy, it's cute. But sometimes it's like, if I asked her a question, I'd get like two words and this just wouldn't. So it's a bit awkward. It's a bit hard to have a date if you're the only one on it. Can you do an Australian <laughs> accent? Everyone wants to know. Um, can I help I can you get there? Try. All right, how about, can you try, try and say for me, um, One Direction, Love Australia? One Direction, Love Australia. 
How was that? It was a very, very good effort, but it's more like Australia. So, Australia. So it's not really Leah. It's Australia. Austra- uh, uh, Australia. Imagine if it's spelled with an E. Australia. One Direction. Australia. Love Australia. One Direction. Love Australia. <laughs> You are a very good sport. That was a real. That was a really good effort. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Harry from One Direction, and you're listening to the Hot Hits live from LA.